Yo, what is up, guys? It is Silk here again, and today we are back on Battlefield 4 in the old faithful A10 Warthog. Now, out of everything in Battlefield 4, my favorite thing is definitely the jet combat. I don't know, the game just does it so well, and even if it's not completely realistic, I feel like the jets in this game just have such a big impact on the battle, and you really feel like you're actually getting involved rather than, you know, just dogfighting or just farming infantry. The jets just let you get involved with absolutely everything, killing tanks, killing boats, killing jets, even helicopters in the stealth jet, so it's just a lot of fun overall. And of course, today we are in the A-10. Now, this is a thing that I think I'm going to really miss in Battlefield 2042. So far, we've only seen the stealth jets, and with Battlefield Portal, there's a decent chance we might get an A-10, but you just see attack jets in general, man. They are so, so fun, and if they don't come back in 2042, it's pretty safe to say that I'll be a little bit disappointed. So starting out here, we're going to strafe this LAV, help out the team. Got a boat down there, let's see if we can clean it up. The rockets did it, that's quite nice. Jet ski and an AA. The AA is the biggest threat, let's go for that next. Unless this attack chair wants to fight, I'm just going to let him... Yeah, there you go. Damn, 43 damage and he's dead. That's pretty rare. So I've got a wingman in the stealth jet, normal. He's uh, one of my mates. I never heard him speak once. He has no microphone, but we have flown many hours together. And it's great fun always flying with him. So hopefully he can take care of the air vehicles and I'll take care of the ground here. Couple little ants on the ground. It's got a scout heli there working on them as well. Good to see. Let's take a quick look at the roof and then this little hill here, very common spot. Unfortunately, I got too greedy there. I should have just committed to the first kill and got that instead of going for three, but whatever. You live, you learn. I just saw my wingman got hit by a missile there, so I didn't want to let him die. So usually I'll let him, you know, just take the fights on his own. But if I see him getting hurt, then I'll go in and help. Always keep an eye on your wingman. There's definitely more down there. I think my infantry will clean it up though. It looks like there's people on E. Yep, there you go. Guys, when you're flying the jet, the big map is really your best friend. It is absolutely essential to keep checking on that thing. But now though, I know where they are. Roughly around this E area. Get the assist counts as well there. boat there we got to watch for the tv i usually go in with the the pods first try to get the people off the back of the boat and then go in with the cannons the cannons do more damage so that's your main weapon there and that could have been death right there that's raw looks like that lab as well been hit by the team let's see if we can finish it up it's at the end of the strafe here well, I overestimated myself. I wanted to get the infantry first and then just clean up the lav, but I overestimated my abilities. A frequent cause of death. This hill back here is so popular with snipers. And I fly the jet so aggressively. I mean... I'm pretty much scraping the trees on every single pass. That's how I like to fly it. Uh, if there's good players on the other team, I will usually become a bit more passive. But against these kind of players who are majority sniping, a few of them going for shots on me, I'm happy to take the risk and go for the kills. Just spotted the guys at D there, but I didn't act on it. It was too late for me. Make sure this guy doesn't get to B or C. I don't like them capping the AA on, on C. The AA on the enemy team can really ruin this map because it's so small. You really want your team to have it. I spotted an enemy jet. And 74 damage is enough. Let's get the boat here. There you go. 
Getting locked up as well. I like to use that boat berth to cover. It usually works pretty well. It breaks a lot most of the time. There is a lav, but the lavs are pretty annoying to kill. And we're doing pretty well right now, so I'm kind of just farming at this point. Spotting around. It said I spotted a sniper even though I don't see him, so I'm guessing there's a guy on D. There they are. My team's doing a great job of spotting these enemies as well, but I'm also spotting a lot of them myself. Somehow that went through my ECM. I mean, ECM you isn't very reliable at the best of times. Ooh, this is a lot of kills here if I play my cards right. That's one, two, three. Nice. We got three. Need a little bit. Got a couple there as well. Gonna get this guy. Too close to the ground, we gotta dip behind this hill. And this little mountain range here, as long as you know when the stealth jet is coming up and you don't get forced into a 1v1 with it, it's a really, really good place to hide. So I use that a lot on this map. First kill got stolen, but we get the second one. I thought it was a javelin, that's why I popped my ECM there, but it was actually just an igloo that wasn't locked on, so didn't even need it there. Whatever. Now we see this boat coming out of spawn. Going to try to do a bit of a gun run on him, so open up the rockets. See if we can get the kills off the back. We got it in the end. Back behind the hill. Popping my ECM a bit early here. We'll have to settle for the one. It's alright. Could have probably road that guy as well. The lav heading into the water. Lavs are just a bit of a pain to kill in the in the jet. Unless you have JDAMs, then it's very quick. I'm using the Hydras in this game because I'm trying to get a higher kill count, I guess. I like to mix it up. It's fun to use both. I haven't seen the stealth jet in a bit, it's kind of worrying me. Get ready for the next strafe though. Nice deal, holy shit! <laughs> Squad made in the VoIP. Ooh. Let's see if we can get this guy as well. That was a very clean strafe. Holy. I'd almost like to see that one in slow motion. Maybe I'll do that in the video. to see what it ends up looking like on the recording but that may have been my cleanest strafe of all time anyways we got a rib boat to clean up now and the attack boat looks like it's dead lav and spawn people on the islands near it Let's see what we can find this guy got killed get that one though And that's something I'm really going to miss about the Jets in this game as well. Unless they really rework the physics in 2042, I don't think you can have that same level of precision that you can in this game. It's just, you have so much control. You can be so snappy almost in the Jets, and that kind of aiming just feels amazing. So hopefully they fix it, because I would love to put heaps of time into the game and really max out the aim skill ceiling, but don't know if it's going to happen. To be honest, I don't know if it's going to happen. See if we can get that guy. A little bit of splash damage with the rockets. And that's definitely an Igla. Do not have to ECM that. And have a look towards the spawn again. It's most of this game, to be honest. But that's what Battlefield 4 is like in Oceania right now. This is pretty much what the games are like. Usually I'll die a bit more, though. Still could die, though. 245 tickets left. I can see it happening, to be honest. I get him. I was expecting the second one. This is really risky now. 
Hopefully that doesn't hit. Jeez. Two missiles there. If one of those hits, I'm pretty screwed. And then both hit, obviously I die. <laughs> no player's mic. That's literally his microphone, by the way. I see him converging on the other jet. Shouldn't need to do much here. His aim is pretty good, so not really worried about that. Now we got an attack boat, gonna work on that a little bit. I'm worried about PLD. Yep. I don't want to commit too hard for that boat just because of the PLD lock. Don't want to die to that. Look for the PLD guy. May have been one of those, not sure. Should be able to get another straight here though. Now that we got ACM up, gonna have to be really careful. As soon as the lock goes on, just a voice. pop it. And now we gotta run. Attack jets up. I think I spotted some people down Thief. in this area. Pretty safe bet usually. Get him and hopefully this guy. It's a lot of damage there. Gonna have to be careful. And the my last kill might be this boat here. If we can get it. No one's there. I'm on low health. I'm going to fly the rest of this game out. No need to go in and get myself killed. But flown in this match and flown out without a death. So I'm going to take that. What's your jet? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is definitely going to be on YouTube. Like it if you liked it. Dislike if you disliked it. And subscribe for more Battlefield content, especially focusing on 2042 as soon as the game is out. But now that that's it, guys, peace.